A teenager who survived the Manchester Arena terror attack staggered from the blast blinded, badly burned and with a broken leg. Laura McIntyre, 15, gave her name to medics before she lost consciousness amid the chaos of the explosion at the end of an Ariana Grande concert. The teen has not been able to speak with her parents at her bedside because has been sedated in a Manchester hospital, where she is fighting for her life, the Daily Record reports. Her friend Ailey McLeod, 14, was one of 22 people killed in Monday night's explosion which targeted fans as they left the concert. Laura, from the Isle of Barra, has had several successful operations on her leg and Iba doctors say she faces a long road to recovery. Her parents said, Our daughter Laura is a funny and witty young girl who excels at everything she does. She and Ailey were so looking forward to the concert but that night has now ended in tragedy. Ailey has lost her life and Laura is in a critical condition. Our hearts and minds have been with Ailey's family since we heard their news. They added, We want to thank everybody for their support, including the emergency services for all they have done and continue to do. We know Laura is in the best possible place and receiving the best care she can. She is strong-willed and a fighter. Ailey's mum and dad have also paid a heartbreaking tribute to their vivacious and full of fun daughter who died in the attack. Roddy and Marion said, Our family is devastated and words cannot express how we feel at losing our darling Ailey. Ailey was vivacious and full of fun. She loved all music, whether it was listening to Ariana or playing the bagpipes with her pipe band. Local MP Angus McNeil, a friend of both families, said, we're just heartbroken and devastated. I can't begin to imagine how awful it is for Ailey's parents. This will live with them forever. It's difficult to comprehend how anyone could have carried out an act like this. Kirk Minister Lindsay Schluter added, as time was going on, fears were rising that Ailey was among those who had died. To have these fears confirmed has left us all struggling to cope. The islanders observed a minute's silence for all the victims at 11 a.m. yesterday. A sultar flew at half-mast at Castlebb Community School, where 100 primary and secondary kids were trying to come to terms with Ailey's loss. They went to church to pay tribute. Head teacher Anag McLean said, Tragically, Ailey's life has been cut short and our worst fears have been realized. However, Ailey, what she did and what she was, will remain with each of us who knew her so well. We are in shock, numb and struggling to come to terms with the deep sadness throughout our community. Laura is in our thoughts and prayers. We hope she will return to us soon, soon.